Hey, what is up everybody? It is me, Anthony, here to give you guys another Before You Watch video. And this time it's for the Netflix original film, End of the Road. So you know what time it is, guys. It's uh, Netflix original movie time. And Netflix hasn't had a good track record, at least for this year, as uh, having good quality original content. So is this movie no different? You know, is it the same stuff that we get from Netflix? Yeah, yeah it is. But I'm not saying that this movie doesn't have, you know, its perks or stuff to be excited about or like at all. You know, I think if you're a fan of just like popcorn films where there is just a simple plot, you know, characters want to get to point A to point B, then this movie is pretty serviceable for you. You know, if you're not going to be offended by certain topics that this movie is going to touch on, like racism and inequality and, you know, all that kind of stuff that happens to people of color, then I think you're going to be okay watching this, you know. I will say it does kind of throw it in your face that, uh, at least for me, you know, person with my kind of background, when the, some of the topics that they talk about in this film, it's kind of like, yeah, it feels a little, like, preachy a little bit but I don't want to go onto it too hard because it's not like those stuff doesn't happen in real life but there is some decisions that certain characters make in this film that just makes me scratch my head a little bit because you know I think you would teach your kid not to act a certain way when you're going across country and going into small towns where there isn't a you know a lot of people that look like you to you know not act a certain way but then again you know maybe this movie is saying that you shouldn't have to you know change the way that you are to conform to a certain type of place but um if the result is what happens in this movie then maybe you might want to you might want then again maybe i'm giving this movie a little bit too much credit because again it's a throwaway action film with queen latifah flexing her equalizer training because she has a show called equalizer um, heard it's pretty good check it out but the story isn't something that we haven't seen before and i do feel like you can kind of figure out what's going to happen as certain plot points come on you know if you're a person like me watches a lot of movies you can kind of figure out the twist that they have in this film you know they're like the big reveal that they they ha they show it's it's predictable you know and i i'm not saying that it takes away from the film in any way but it kind of does a little bit because the whole time you know, as the movie's going, I was like, I, I figured it out. I, I figured out the twist, you know. And then the whole time, you know, people are trying to figure it out. I'm just like, I, I know, I know. And then the twist happens. And then I was right. <laughs> but my main gripe with this film is just that uh, the character's making dumb decisions. Especially the character that's played by Ludacris in here. I mean, his name's like Ludacris. It's like Chris Combs or something like that. That's not his name. I don't know. That's what I feel like his name would be. But his character is probably my least favorite. He does kind of redeem himself in the middle of the film and then a little bit towards the end. But his decision is like the whole catalyst to this entire film. And the whole time I was just like, this could have been prevented if this you never did what you did. <laughs> I also think that the villain in this film is kind of weak. Uh, not, not only, you know, written weakly, but also just portrays himself as kind of a weak person and so the whole time when I see you know this villain doing certain things it just makes me think that I don't believe that they can do certain things that they're doing but like I said guys this movie is just a popcorn film have on in the background it's not the worst Netflix film I've seen it's not the worst film that I've seen this year there's a lot that I could put in its place because there's some trash stuff that I've seen. But if you're a fan of Queen Latifah or anybody else in this film and you just want to watch some kind of like throwback action thriller with a simple, sometimes bad plot, then this might be the movie for you. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like this movie? Did you hate this movie? Give me your thoughts in the comments. Let's have a discussion about Queen Latifah and Ludacris, okay? So we start transitioning ourselves into calling Ludacris by his real name because that's that's what he wants us to do. He wants us to forget Ludacris moniker. He wants us to just call him by his real name. So should we do it? Also guys, don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember guys, keep watching movies.